Are you too comfortable? Not anymore. I just spent a full week of my life dedicated to being uncomfortable every single day on purpose. Starting with open mic stand-up comedy, except I couldn't get a gig, so I'm gonna do it in front of a group of strangers. Would people describe me as funny? No. So yeah, this is extremely uncomfortable, but here we go. Hold on, not yet. On top of doing one big uncomfortable challenge every single day, I committed to a list of six daily habits. Why? Because I was too comfortable. If I'm gonna make this whole YouTube thing work, then I'm gonna need to be fine with being uncomfortable and working hard. I wanna make my comfort zone expand to meet me. If you do what's easy, life will be hard, but if you do what's hard, life will be easy. Someone smart said that. The best memories and the greatest stories are created outside the comfort zone, so I trust you'll enjoy this story of an insane week in my life. And, and maybe this can inspire you to overcome the discomfort, do hard things, and make memories. I'm feeling things right now. <laughs> Shaking. My heart is pumping. I've got a line that I want to use, and my line is... I'm an up-and-coming stand-up comedian. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys would be my audience. It's 9 p.m. and I pull up at this nude beach and I am just busting to go to the toilet. There was a guy standing there. He was overlooking the water. Hey, he said. He said hey to me. Meanwhile, I'm not trying not to piss myself, by the way. I was still holding on. My legs were crossed. This guy was from Thailand. He was about 50 years old. So, um, yeah. And uh, he just looked at me and then just said, John. And I was like, okay, this is John. I went away found a toilet and I didn't piss myself. Whoa. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I walk back over to my new friend, John. I ask this guy questions like, do you come here often? <laughs> yeah, I, I come all the time. I like it here. But it was 9 p.m. at night, I'll remind you. Okay, so you live close by then, right? And he said, oh yes, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That's a long way to drive to go to a nude beach at night time if you're not going to swim. Why here? Aren't there beaches closer to your house? And he goes, yes, yes. Oh, because the young couples, they come here and uh, you can hear the young couples <laughs> He said this with the widest smile on his face. I haven't seen anything like it. John, that's not okay. And he said, oh, you know life? Sometimes you can see them too. And I was like, oh, um. <laughs> And now I know for sure that his name definitely wasn't John. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You've been a great crowd. Thank you for coming out this evening. Thank you very much. Thank My heart is still pumping. That was insane. That went so well, dude. That went so well. I loved it. They freaking loved it. <laughs> I feel alive. My comfort zone went from this to this. Mission accomplished. Do -do -do -do. Good morning. <laughs> Stare at it, the worst it gets. Boom. Thank you guys. Today is salsa. And no, this salsa I am very comfortable with. It's that salsa that I'm talking about. Before my dancing lesson, I used that tutorial video to practice my moves at home. Okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> How am I feeling? I am not excited. I just, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to. I feel pretty terrible right now, and I'm not at all excited to do this. Gosh. I'm feeling nervous, I'm feeling oh, an overwhelm of, I don't even know what to call it. I am nervous, here we freaking go. So, after some small talk. Uh, I've always wanted to do learn social Yeah, yeah. And a rough start where they gave us some hula hoops to dance in and position most of the men off camera, we got into it. Pretty good. I saw a couple of nut bushes, but it was a little bit better. That's okay, no stress. After this quick warm up, they threw us in the deep end. Please go and ask the lady to dance. Don't be shy. So I made my way over to do just that, and in a strange voice that didn't sound like mine, asked wow. Zoe, would you like to dance? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I started pretty confidently. Rise backwards? Yeah. <laughs> then crumbled pretty quickly. Wait, we go down first, I think. Uh, 
We gave some high fives and then awkwardly introduced ourselves to the next partner. Well, at least I did. I'm Lara. I'm Sam. Can you introduce yourself? Sam. That's me. Nice Sam to meet you. Man. That's me. We kept going around the circle from partner to partner and I was getting a bit better and a bit more relaxed too. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. More high fives and then we got into some more complicated stuff like this, but the camera didn't capture it. Oh, what a shame. They showed us this at the end of the class and apparently this is where we can be in just a few lessons. These guys were great, but I am not too keen to go again, to be honest. <laughs> I did it, and it was uncomfortable, but now it's done. How do I feel? Relieved and happier than I felt going into it. Seek discomfort, smash your boundaries, do stuff that you don't think you can do just to prove to yourself that you can do it. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. Okay, bye. For day three of the challenge, I wanted to do busking, but I was torn. Do I busk as a freestyle rapper or as a mime? So I put it out to my Instagram to choose for me, and although it was close, freestyle rapper got the votes. Thanks, guys. Does it look like I'm shaking through the camera? Yeah, because I, I can am. see it. I'm shaking. <laughs> In the words of the Black Eyed Peas, let's get it started. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Be on the peas, be a rapping on the peas, hey. On the pipe, on a seat, hey. Solid start. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking, but what I'm realizing quickly is no one cares. As you can see, after just three minutes, I started to feel more confident, so I started to ask people for words I could rhyme things with. Pineapple? <laughs> this, my homies, was my best attempt. Give me a pineapple, I have got an apple, I am a man and I have got pineapples. Despite that interaction, my confidence was actually building, so we moved to a busier spot. We got some more words from people and uh, watch me nail this, ready? <laughs> Motivation. Sorry? Motivation. Motivation is the word. And I was already off topic. These guys hung around for what felt like an eternity while I was rambling all sorts of nonsense. And these guys were loving it, so I asked them for a word to rhyme with. This must have thrown me off because it was downhill for a bit from here. <laughs> The depths of sadness from all of these interactions must have inspired me because this next one is my favorite. I worked right I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm just dying on the inside. Cause I'm gonna cry. Later at home. Gonna go east. I wanna know why. Gonna rest my head in the bed with a watermelon and a spoon. <laughs> I had a couple more interactions and then I couldn't help but finish with my favorite karaoke song. I was over the half hour mark, but I decided I'd do just one more freestyle and then. Feeling so relieved that it's over and just. I think I'm feeling more confident, more confident than I was on day one, it's day three. Seeing me smash all of these goals every day, it can be so easy to just assume that I'm having a good day, but I'm not, I'm just doing it anyway. It's really difficult to do some of these things some days. 
but things like talking to strangers, I felt happier pretty instantly. I'm happy, uh, I don't feel amazing today, but that's okay. Tonight I'm homeless, kind of. MTV, welcome to my crib. This is my setup. <laughs> In the bag is my stuff for tomorrow. That's the blanket I'll put over myself. I've got some water. I'm wearing shoes to bed. And I'm wearing four layers and it's a bit cold. My girlfriend is inside. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm outside. I'm house sitting a house. I'm looking after two cats and it feel really weird to leave. So I'm sleeping in the backyard. And that's me being homeless for the night. Kind of. I'll give you updates throughout the night. Good night. Oh, you're still here? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love the quality of cameras. <laughs> the moon is beautiful, by the way. <laughs> it's about 12.30. I'm waking up for the first time. It's been comfortable. Let's hope it stays there. 136 and I just had a dream that it was over. I had a dream that my girlfriend came out and she slept with me out here and she brought extra blankets. I've still got hours to go. That's 240 and the dream that I had has somehow become a reality. <laughs> I then slept like a baby for the rest of the night. Good morning, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get up. I'm already really cold with four layers on. And what's worse is knowing that I'm about to have a cold shower. In conclusion, I could feel my body getting sore. <laughs> and that over and over again could not be good. Um, so I'm so grateful for what I've got and I'm glad I did it. What else do I say? I, don't know. I am not looking forward to taking this off. Come on. the surf lesson now feeling nervous plus excited it's a beautiful day I'm feeling good this has been something that i've wanted to do for quite a while but i've just never actually taken the steps to do it so this was a good excuse to actually push that discomfort and just freaking get into it yeah nice yeah paddle 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 <laughs> Far out, it's scary, man. <laughs> it so run, Sammy, run like the wind. There goes the creature. Here's how it went. While figuring things out, I had a couple stacks. Oh, he's on! No, Sammy! Then on my fifth wave or something, I stood up for a whole second. That was Sammy. He got it. Woohoo! Then after struggling on the next wave, no, I stood up on a massive one. Just kidding. That's not me. That's me there, getting taken out. I think Sammy just got taken out. For real though this time. I stood up here and rode away for a while longer and it felt really yeah. cool. Yeah, Sammy. <laughs> and I was a little excited, but I knew I still had a long way to go. After falling off again and again, I managed to stand up again for a whole second. Go Sammy! Then I spent the rest of my time trying and falling off. It was so hard to know what I was doing right or wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no! Dude! Dude! How was it, Sammy? It was fine. <laughs> Sammy's just finished his first surf session. Yeah, baby. I'm just really keen to go get some sushi. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Surfing was good, but did I catch the surfing bug? No, so I don't know how keen I am to get back out there. Now, on to... As you guys know, I've been talking to a stranger every single day for the past week, and today I'm going to try and convince a stranger to let me be their driver for a day. Will it be this Lamborghini? Will it be another car? Who the heck knows? Not me! Woo! Oh, and I was so right. I had no idea. I went through rejection. Oh, 
not really. After rejection. It's a great proposal, but perhaps another time. I'm sure I'll find someone, it's okay. Yeah. After rejection. I need to meet uh, with my friend. After rejection, after rejection, after rejection. Sit back, relax, there's more. Sit in the front car. seat. Are you sure I would? I think I'd really I like this car. Primal and semi. <laughs> we're in Berlin now. We're gonna ask some more people. After grueling hours of rejection, the most amazing thing happened. I'm seeking discomfort by talking to new strangers every single day. And on my final day of doing this, I wanted to be someone's personal driver. Just for like a lap around the block, or for the day, or whatever. What's your next location? I'm chill with anything. Okay. Huh? Is it a yes? Yeah. Yeah, I got a yes, finally. Dude, I've been here for like two hours. I finally got the yes. Thank you guys so much. Now, we get in and we drive. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Maybe we take it back, maybe we take it back. Okay. You seem like... A very genuine person. That's all good. No, thank you guys so much anyway. We were close. False yes. False yes. No, you guys have a beautiful day, hey? Rejection. After this, I got rejected twice more and then that was it. All right, now that's it. Right. Now we're saying goodbye. I'm driving a car, but it's my car because we failed. The failure is Did just... Fail. No, failure is just a step forward. That's what I was getting to and everything's okay and we still got super uncomfortable with like 30 rejections. I reckon more. There'll be a counter right up here. Oh, <laughs> so you guys know how many rejections we got. I felt defeated, but we did the hard part over and over, asking for something really big from a complete stranger. So although I was exhausted, I felt proud. Today I'm choosing to run 30 kilometers. I'm dreading this. I don't want to do this at all. I'm scared. I don't know if I can do this. We're gonna try anyway. And we're on. I'm gonna go pretty slow because I don't want to cook myself. The furthest I've ever gone is 21 Ks. And that was when I was super fit. And I feel the least fit that I've been in a while. Let's see how this goes. Got this. Got my secret weapon. Earphones. So. Are you a character? Yes. What's oh, the character? Mr. Longleg. All right, Mr. Longlegs. That's your birth name? Less than 4Ks in. My knee's feeling a little bit weird. But I'm still gonna push through. Easy, right? So easy. About 5Ks in. Already feeling terrible. The knee is hurting. We got this. I'm gonna be honest, walking's feeling pretty nice. The left knee is not feeling very nice. Discomfort. Intrusive thoughts were ticking over in my brain, but the one thing I knew is that I wanted to keep pushing, so I did. My knee keeps twinging. And it feels terrible. I'm not very far in. I'm only about 6Ks in thinking about quitting already. I wanted to push myself during this challenge, but I don't want to destroy my body. It's freaking sucks. My knee is just freaking killing. It's like twinging every few seconds. My cardio is fine, but this pain is intense. So I don't know why I haven't turned around already. I believe in pushing yourself, but I also believe in looking after your body. My knee, literally every 10 seconds, of course I can do it, but at what cost? Oh, it's hurting to walk. Time to walk home. This has been a really big week, and I was just hoping that I'd go out with a bang. And I know that you guys aren't judging me, but... I can't help but feel disappointed at myself that I didn't get this done. I should be proud of myself. I've pushed myself every single day. And although I failed yesterday, I failed today. Things are right. 
we move forward. This is just a blip in the grand scheme of things. I'm gonna get a coffee to make myself feel better. <laughs> Do you have any words of wisdom or words of encouragement for me? Stretching? Stretching? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That'll probably help. Probably not today, but uh, you just gotta keep putting one, one foot in front of the other. That's perspective, man. That's perspective. I'm here worrying about my knee and like, oh, poor me. But at least I have a freaking knee and everything's all right. <laughs> Something I can do is because I ran seven kilometers, I had 23 to go. So what I can do is 23 minutes total in an ice bath. Ice baths are cold, extremely uncomfortable. So. So there I was emerged in the ice bath, ready for the greatest 23 minutes of my life. Okay, it was freezing and 23 minutes straight is definitely not good for you, so time for the warm pool. I did it, it's over. And what did it teach me exactly? Well, I learned that doing things like this isn't just some magic pill to unlock unlimited motivation or anything like that, but it definitely has taken my comfort zone from this to this. And doing the hard things like getting up early for a workout or going for a swim when it's cold are definitely becoming easier. I'm not saying to just go and make drastic changes for a whole week like I did, that was freaking crazy. <laughs> but maybe just do one thing that makes you uncomfortable and then just go from there and make your comfort zone expand to meet you. The best memories and the best stories are created outside the comfort zone. I'll be open and honest with you guys, there was one thing that made me more uncomfortable than all of what you just saw combined and it mightn't be what you expect. The most uncomfortable thing of all for me was actually editing this video. I've never pieced together a story like this before and the perfectionist in me wanted it to be flawless, to tick all boxes, but I'm learning so. This is scary. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, you know what to do. I am so grateful for you for being here. I love you. There's that smile. Now keep that smile on your face and have a beautiful rest of your day.